wanted to share with you like an acid dub technique. So we all know about acid bass lines like 303 bass lines, right? Well, I like to do them with operator with a um, with a square wave, and I just put in like um, kind of like staccato. I don't know what you call it, like super short, like sixteenth note. Um, and I just like. Pitch it right down so you got it like a bass bass note and then um change the filter to an ms2 give it some resonance give it some envelope and, um what you want to do is go into the matrix um modulation matrix area set the volume to the velocity and also to the filter envelope amount. And we go back into the MIDI clip. So you just have like a few high velocity notes in there and then maybe you can like shift one up an octave like So that's like my basic um, pattern there. You can keep, keep it simpler than that, it's often better, but uh, just for this demonstration, I'll put in a little melody. Um, then you want to grab like a, a distortion. Um, I'll just go for Ableton's pedal distortion. <laughs> And uh, you could could um like mod some of the parameters in there. So like I grab a max for live LFO and um by the way I'll put this set onto my Patreon so you guys can go and download it from there and um dissect it, you know, check it out. I put a link for that in the comments. So I'm mapping the LFO to the um I'll just map it to like the gain on the uh device here. So yeah, you could use like any distortion device you like really, but I'm just using the pedal here. And then I'd like to grab like another LFO. 
And um, I map this to the uh, the K on the filter envelope. So that's just a really nice thing to modulate. Um, and then I'm just going to mess about with a filter cut off here. And now it's time to drop some spatial effects on here. So I'm going to go for uh, Ableton's delay. Just mess about with the filter here. I'm just catching like the top end. You could put the delay like before the pedal. And then maybe modulate the filter on the delay a bit. So then um, I put a reverb on there and I go for Ableton's um, large hall preset. Just turn the mix down. Then um, it's good to put a bit of compression on there. I just use a glue compressor. And yeah, you could put uh, like a chorus or a phaser on there. I'll try a phaser. Put it before the compressor. Fine-tune the settings in the modulation matrix. And yeah, that's basically it. So um, I'll keep going and I'll just start making like an acid track. Oh, you've got some 909 drums. Thank you. 
about the release put LFO on the um, release on this hi-hat here back into the acid clip um, it's always good to keep it a bit simpler um, Take the hi hat loop and just stretch it out like twice the size. Yeah, so we've got a basic acid loop going, guys. So, so I can duplicate this um, acid clip and um, just reverse some of the patterns. So you could also like um, a really neat trick to do is uh, get some of the notes to like overlap. So you got this last note here, and if you go into the synth here, you can set it to mono, so it's like one voice. And then you go into the synth and you go to the, um, the glide setting. And we can get a bit of. Uh, pitch glide on the on this note here. Just adds a nice bit of um, interest. So I'm just gonna um, prop this clip here and. Um, Um, 
So we start the loop off here. Okay guys, thanks for watching, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll upload this set onto my Patreon and I'll put a link for that in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this, and uh, there's exclusive stuff up on my Patreon, I'd love to have you go check that out, uh, sample packs and stuff on there, so yeah, thanks a lot, see you next time.